And with medical marijuana products finally hitting the shelves for patient usage, finding what works best for your symptoms can be difficult. A new partnership coming to the state of Mississippi will help streamline that process. 12 News Marie Menefield digs deeper into what this means for the landscape of patient medical marijuana usage. The University of Mississippi, Mississippi Cannabis Patients Alliance, and the Relief app announced their new partnership to help medical marijuana users as they navigate this new avenue of aid in the state. In this instance, we're able to really narrow in on the Mississippi market and make all of those answers actionable for patients within the state of Mississippi so that they can be more informed when they're walking into that dispensary on this is this product has some level of research in regards to being effective for what I'm needing relief from. Patients will be able to enter in their symptoms and medical history into the app. The University of Mississippi will take that information to determine what type of medical marijuana products will fit their specific needs. With the data they're gathering, be able to analyze that data, begin to drill down a bit onto the types of um, conditions that where improvements are being seen, what doses are involved, the routes of administration, helping to kind of advance our knowledge base about how medicinal medical cannabis can be beneficial to patients. With the data collected, those involved believe this will be a way to help not only their patients, but dispensaries as well. You'll be able as a patient to enter specific inter information like your debilitating medical condition, uh, your age, uh, and then we'll know because your dispensary's menu will pop up when you're in the app and you'll be able to say, well, I used XYZ brand for this debilitating medical condition. And then we'll be able to gather the data because you'll be able to tell us, well, yes, it did work for me well or no, it didn't. The app is also HIPAA compliant, so patients' information and usage remain confidential. Marie Menefield, 12 News.